they were are packing up. The New York Marathon cancelled for the first time in 42 years. Even in the weeks after 9-11, the race went ahead. But as bodies were still being pulled from wrecked homes, the public outcry about holding a big sporting event easily outweighed the spirit of keep calm and carry on. This is where the New York Marathon was due to start, on Staten Island, one of the worst affected areas. While few doubt it was the right decision to cancel, they're wondering why the decision wasn't made earlier in the week, before tens of thousands of runners arrived in New York. Barriers and tables were being taken away. There were generators here, food and security staff, all useful elsewhere. People are hurting on Staten Island. People are saying, where's the relief coming from? It's not coming. But there are resources here that would be helpful. So I don't understand how even you would think that it's a good idea. I don't, I don't get that. Fuel is still in short supply. This, a queue at one of the mobile petrol stations being set up across New York to help ease the backlog. Help is getting through to those who need it most. Communities are rallying round. And the lights are coming back on. Most of Manhattan has power once again. But across all the storm-hit states, more than a million people are still waiting. Until you have your lights on, you're not happy. I get it. I understand. And we're not going to stop until we have every house, every home has their power restored. If you have any special skills, like you are fluent in a... Volunteers were queuing up to help in the East Village. Among them, marathon runners, who found out online where to come. I was ready to run, and um, but you know there's just a lot of controversy, and I just you know felt a little uncomfortable running, but was willing to run just because I trained for it for so long. So, um, but I'll be excited to run next year when the city is back on its feet and, and run through the streets. I just want to help the people of the city. Um, we're actually going to be heading over to an apartment complex that still doesn't have electricity, and we're going to knock on their doors and make sure that they're okay and take help them if there's anything that they need. There's been loss and there's anger. But there's also spirit. People will bounce back. They always do here. Alastair Leithhead, BBC News, New York.